Hello, Brian's Pickles here. Today we are here with a new Minecraft server plugin tutorial, and today's plugin we are doing is called Upgradable Pets. This is one of the best uh, pet plugins on Spigot, and that's why this plugin is a premium plugin. Um, and but you could, and that's because you can have pet levels, effects, and basically just all different kind of stuff with this plugin. There's so many features which I'll be going through. Um, so this tutorial will be showing you how to use the config file, how to edit the pets, how to use all the commands and just show off this plugin. So if we just type in pet and you can see here you get a bunch of commands. So you get your pet help which basically is this page um, and then you've got your GUI so this basically is your shop so you First, you can buy the pets from the GUI. When you bought your pet, your um, GUI will be different. It will only show up about your pet, so how to buy your stuff and everything like that. So it's a shop, basically, the GUI is. Uh, and then you got your pet name, name, so you can rename your pets. And then you do pet here, so teleport your pet to your location. Pet away, so despawn that pet. And pet delete. And then we've got the staff commands, so which are pet count so he counts all the pets on the server delete all, uh, basically despawns all um, basically despawns all the pets kill all kills all the pets and then pet delete then the player so this will delete the pets um, the selected payers pet so if we just go over here because I can't spawn a pet over there because I've got world guard of mob spawning off so if we do pet GUI and you can see here it says buy a pet so you've got your cow you've got your pig you've got your sheep chicken ocelot slime wolf mushroom cow silverfish and a rainbow sheep so when you hover over it you can see the price of the um the mob as well as the health and there's a cow next to me so we're going to go with a chicken and we're going to buy it and you can see here you have bought a chicken for 600 and it says brand's pickled brand's pickled so now you can see here that the, my pet's name is Brands Pickled. So if we just change that, so pet name um, Delilah, and you can see here, pet currently renamed, currently Delilah. So if we just do pet GUI, despawn, respawn, and then, then you can see the GUI here. You've got you've got your info. So you've got your pet level is uh, zero, and max health is seven, and the type is a chicken. And you can obviously despawn and respawn. Uh, the max health, so we can upgrade the health. So if you want to upgrade his health, uh, but by one, you click that. If you want to buy max health, you just press this. So we could have do that. So his max health is now eleven. So if we do it again, you can see buy again for five thousand. You can see our pet health is increasing. So you have reached the max level for the health. So we have fifteen HP. And now you got your um, potion effects. So you got your speed. So max is four there. So now I'll always have a, a speed effect because I've got my chicken with me and he's level one. You can see there. Uh, so if we just upgrade that, upgrade it again, and then even more upgrade. And it says, sorry, you don't have enough money. So let's give myself some money. And then buy, yes. And now I've got speed four. Speed four. Uh, all the time, unlimited, because I've got this pet following me. And you can see him, he's level four. So if we have regeneration as well, and max level is 4, you can see him level 8, and you've got regeneration 4 as well, and then fire resistant, so literally you've got so many potion effects, oh, I just gave myself some more money. Uh, okay, and then at the top left you can see my enchantment has been enabled, but I've got that there, fire resistance, and night vision, so my vision is going to be a bit bright now. 
Uh, night vision only to level one because you only need one night vision. Then you got your strength potion. Buy and meet reach the max level for strength for free. And then you got invisibility, which I'm not going to use. Then water breathing. Bye. And basically, now I've got all them enchantment uh, effects, potion effects, and there's all my potion effects. And basically, if we just go to the spigot page now, uh, like so, you can see here it's a premium plugin. So if we just quickly go here, it is 30% off at the moment, but if we go here, uh, it's $4. Uh, which is quite cheap for a plugin out there. Uh, it's been tested in 1.7 to 1.12. Uh, it's always been getting updated, so like updates in 19. It first started on the 3rd of September. Uh, tested, like I said, tested 1.8 to 1.12, so the latest version of Minecraft. Uh, EULA friendly MySQL database uh, is basically a part of the features. Pet levels, potion effects, custom art. Customizable pets that lay after uh, death, um, multiple worlds, black w uh, blacklist words in the pet names, disable pets in some worlds, placeholders, uh, customizable messages, display names and laws, pet names, pet format. You got your max pet uh, names length, enable or disable baby pets, uh, pets. So you got your cow, pig, sheep, chicken, ocelot, slime, mushroom, cow, wolf. Silverfish and a rainbow sheep, and then you've got VIP pets only at fault as well. Then you've got your commands, what I've showed you. Then you've got all your gifts, which basically I've gone through with you. Then you've got your config file and your language file, and then how to install. So, download this plugin as well as Vault, put them in the plugin folder, restart, then you can configuration, configurize all the plugin stuff as well, and then enjoy the plugin. If you need support, basically you can go to the discussion page here. Also, you can click on this, which take and take you to his GitHub. But GitHub's not working for me lately, so the best place is the discussion area. Um, so let me go back here. Uh, so if we just go to our um, plugin location. So upgradable pets, and let's go with the config file first. I'm just gonna mute Minecraft because that chicken is quite loud in my ears. There we go. Okay, so here we've got our database uh, first. So you can see here file or MySQL. So you got your flat, flat file, or you can change it to MySQL. So if you are using MySQL, put it there. Make sure it goes green. Um, Black, and then you fill out your host database name, the database username, and then your password as well as your port. You don't need to edit this, you can if you want, that's just basically you can see the table easier in your database. Then you can change your currency here, so we're going to change it into pounds. But I just quickly need to change my keyboard format to UK again. There we go. Spawn pet art join, baby pets is true. Um, so we could have just remove this bit so we don't want the owner's name there we just want the actual pet's name we're going to have it in green and then we can have the level in darker green maximum name is um 25 letters and then you got your black uh, blacklist words so you can't basically say them uh and then show pet here message show pet away message so that's when you Teleport it here or teleport it away, so it basically shows you the message that it's here now. And then the respawn delayed, so this is a minute. So when it dies, you've got a minute for the um, pet to respawn at your location. Uh, open GUI by right clicking the uh, the pet. Uh, do forward slash pet to open GUI. Open GUI and slash basically like that. Uh, remove all potion effects by pet away. Basically remove effect so that's true so you're not if you haven't got your pet on you uh, your potion effects will go away um, hit messages so sends a message when a player tries to hurt your pet there's a eye in there 
Uh, then the blacklist, so where pets are not allowed in a certain world. So like if it was a PvP in world, you're not allowed to take your pet there. Then you got your sheep. So if you if you are if you got a sheep pet, basically it can eat grass, so it prevents it. Uh, then you got your pet cost, and you can edit the names here. So if we do pickles cow, and the amount, and the uh, value for the health, and then health. These are the upgrades. Then you've got your pigs here. So actually, let's do pickle pickle pig. Uh, pickle cow and you can see here we've got an option for VIP so we're going to disable the cow so we'll change that to false and we're going to still put a name there just because it's our config file I'm not going to change any of the prices but I am going to change the price Ah, oh, my beautiful chicken pickle I'm going to edit this one pickles Delilah like so and we're gonna just do something ridiculous like that and then you got your ocelot and you got your slime your wolf again you can edit the price edit the prices for the upgrades uh, you can also add an extra ranking onto this by doing example oh god something like that so it'll grade 4 and change that to 20, like so. Um, you can rename every single pet. And that's all of them. Then here's your potion effect. So your costing for your speed, your um, regeneration, your fire resistance, night vision, damage, invisibility, and do not touch the bottom bit. So we're just going to just remove this, save back, and then we go to our language file. And you can see here, you can edit the prefix. So again, I'm going to edit the bracket and do and eight arrow arrow. Uh, we don't like bold text there. Uh, that's all fine. How it is, we can have that one in green. Uh, we're going to have the prefix in green as well. And basically, you can edit every single message here, which is very, very useful. So if we go back and let's look at our data file, you can see here my pet's name is Delilah. My pet level is 17. So if I just put it to something ridiculous, uh, and you can see the stats. So four, 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 one, three, one. And then we've got UID, Entity Chicken, Type Chicken, Brands Pickled. Save that. And when that's done, just restart your server. Because we have to edit a bunch of um, stuff in the config file. So when that's just generating and loading it back up, we'll flick over to Minecraft screen. Boosh. Let's let this generate. Do, 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 do. There we go. Our pet is here. And you can see here, there's pet level. You can see the name's been renamed. Uh, different color. If we just click him, you can see here, pet level 1337. Despawn or everything like that. And if we do pets. You can see here that's changed to green. Uh, pet here. You can see that's gone to green with the arrows. And that's basically everything about this upgradable pet. So I've basically got these amazing potion effects and stuff like that, which very helps out everything. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If it did help you out, remember to basically say something and hit that like button. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. And if you are a developer out there and need a uh, video for your plugin, just put it in the comment section or the speaker page. And if you need any help with any plugins, there is a Minecraft 
Discord in the, descript in the description and every developer and server owner will help you because it's a nice beautiful community. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day and peace.